You know, one of the things that's most exciting about being a visual artist is that every single artist can be successful. The art world is, seems mysterious and seems complicated, but it really isn't. All you need is a guide for going through the labyrinth. And the fact of the matter is, is that all humans, all artists are unique individuals. And if you get in touch with what makes you unique, then, and you're coming from your heart, and you're coming from your soul, and you're coming from within, and you're willing to be vulnerable and put yourself out there, then, you know, you can be yourself and your artwork is going to be unique. There are three criteria, I think, that determine who a successful artist is and what makes an artist successful. Number one is that your art is distinguishable, distinguishable, distinguished from all other artists, so that when somebody looks at your art, they don't go, oh yeah, you look just like Van Gogh, you know, you don't want to look like somebody else. When they look at your work, they want to say, oh yeah, that's yours, I get it. So it's almost like your artwork, pardon the expression, becomes a brand. But you know, you then become identified with your artwork. That's number one. Number two, and I think these are probably in order of priority or in a sequence of importance. Number two is that you get your butt in the game. You know, it is no longer sufficient to sit back in your ivory tower or, you know, your dark studio and just make art and wait for somebody to discover you. It's not going to happen. You have to participate. The art world, like so many other endeavors, are a byproduct of having relationships, of working with other people, of somebody liking you and hearing about something and saying, yes, here's an opportunity for you. Number two is that you've got to get your butt in the game. And number three is that you've got to make good art.